What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Straw boss over there, Z-Man, his favorite thing to do, put down a straw. Yep. Rather do that or weed eat all day? Probably weed eat. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it ain't his favorite thing to do if he'd rather weed eat. But uh, anyway, we got a little job here. We're going to come over and see what we can do. We can get these people's beds looking good. Look like some of that stuff needs to be trimmed, really. But all he asked for was straw. We're gonna get out and look at the get out and look at the situation out here and see what we got going on. Uh, you know, they ain't really grown a whole lot. They just a couple of little strays on them probably need to be knocked off. The grass ain't even bad in them, is it? I guess this time of year. The straw don't look too horrible. Except right. on the edge. I don't think they're getting enough water on these plants. Look at them plants. Yeah, some of this down here needs to be trimmed up just a little. Just a little. This tree here, she's wanting me to cut down two times and it still keeps coming back. Something's wrong with it though. It's got all that moss on it. That ain't that ain't right. Sorry. Anyway, that's what we got. We're going to run us some straw around here, man. Get this thing looking good. I don't want to brag. I don't. I don't want to brag, y'all. Please keep me from bragging. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'll let y'all look at it. Y'all see Z Man around here getting it done? I hope that time lapse turned out. The camera act like it was doing funny. If you don't see no time lapse, then you you know. Get there, boy. Huh? <laughs> Y'all can't tell Z-Man nothing. The boy's a straw boss. You guys do a good job, man. I know I say that a lot, but... I put him up against... I put him up against a crew of grown men. You know? These teenagers. Let's see if we get over here and see what Z's doing. Look at that boy. He's so serious he ain't got time to stop and talk. <laughs> Alright, let me help him get this thing finished up. Alright, we're done with that little project. We had one more we thought about doing, but they not closed yet, so I'm gonna go mess with it. Z Man got him made him a couple of peanuts mm -hmm. today. He liked them peanuts. You like peanuts? You want something bigger? 
something bigger. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I'm running Z Man to the house, I reckon. I don't know what I'm going to mess with the rest of the day. Might be a lazy day, who knows? So, check back with y'all. All right. Good news, good news. I just paid off my old F-150. Uh, when I bought that thing, I don't know if y'all remember way back. Well, it hadn't been two years ago. Uh, probably like a year and a half ago. I paid half down and got half from the bank just because I didn't want to use, you know, that much cash. It would have, uh, it would have, it would have drew my account down pretty low so lower than what i like it to be anyway and uh <clears throat> so i decided to just go ahead and pay it off i owed some money I, you know i probably owe still six months on it or something like that but i got all this other uh all these <laughs> you know other loans and stuff so i was like you know i just got this truck and i was like man i don't want to have all that all that that much debt and uh also i want to get it off my credit report because you know when you go to buy something if you got too much on you too much on your credit uh you know it can be a problem so i finally got the uh titan down i don't know if y'all can see that but it's uh it's saying low fuel um it says 43 miles to empty now i don't normally run a vehicle like that but i was just curious as to what this would hold i mean i know i can get online and look it up but um i'm gonna run it down like that and i'm, I'm fixing to go fill it up so i'm gonna stop in here at this liquidation store real quick though i like to browse through here every once in a while you know they'll just have really good deals on stuff and uh so i'm gonna go in here and see what they got might pick something up i don't know we'll see well <laughs> I most definitely got to get out of here. I went there to get nothing and spent hundred and fifty dollars. I tell you what, though, they had a they had gas cans, five gallon gas cans. Of course, they all got these safety things on them. But uh, I got small one gallon cans, like the five gallon I got, and I like it. Man, I had them things for fourteen dollars. I honestly probably should have bought more. But. Uh, I bought something else that's pretty neat. I'll show that to y'all when I get uh, when I get to the house, if I ever get out of here. Busy, man. So, got to go get some fuel, and uh, I, when I get gas, I'll show you what I got. All right, we got 22.8 gallons. So, um, I was going to show y'all of y'all hear all that noise there's two diesel trucks over here beside me running so it's gonna be hard to show you uh show you what i wanted to what i picked up but uh anyway i'll show it to you when i get to the uh when i get to the house so check back with y'all all right so that's it it's a six foot high utility scaffold uh i'm not really sure how long it is i guess these are some different options and some different things it's got a tool shelf you can get uh platform with a trap door <laughs> um so that's some extension stuff just got a bunch of stuff you can add on you can set the feet apparently at different levels uh we had one of these and when you put it together you just pull out these things and let the platform up and down we had one of these at the boat plant i worked at and uh it was pretty handy i don't really know what i need it for but you know if i were to be doing some uh you know work uh in a room where i need to move around a good bit you know or something uh it could be useful i've seen them there at that place they normally i think like two hundred dollars or something and I got it for $120, so I could have, uh, those are nice, the boxes, the boxes aren't even really all that torn up, here's a gas can I got, man, $14.99, I said it was $14, actually $15, but I'm going to use this for my, uh, I'm going to use this for my mix can, 
so mixing i usually do about four gallons of mix at a time so and when you leave them on the trailers which i don't usually leave them on trailer i usually mix that one and uh then i'll take it and fill up the the one gallon cans uh i use it to fill up the backpack blowers because backpack blower typically will run all day long on a tank and then i just fill up the can to take care of the uh, trimmers and all that so anyway that's it for now be on the lookout i do have some more tool videos i ordered uh a couple of pretty neat things and i think i'm finally done buying now and uh i kind of tried to get all this out of the way at the beginning so throughout the season i'm not buying a bunch of stuff and uh so anyway we'll see hopefully throughout the season it'll just be regular maintenance stuff not a whole lot of new tools one of the tools i bought you'll be very very surprised by it but uh you're just gonna have to wait until that video comes out in the next couple of days i don't even have it yet it's supposed to be here today so uh we'll get you a video on that though anyway hey appreciate you tuning in today hope you enjoyed uh, a little bit of footage i got and uh riding around my prayer for you is always the same that the lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from him hope you have a great day